sometimes to a homeowner looking inside here trying to to find your uh, valves and which ones to shut off it can be overwhelming the main thing is or normally in every application if you look at your water meter or if you have a water softener there's going to be some kind of bypass on a water softener which may or may not shut off everything in the house so we follow those lines and they call it an H pattern bypass if your softener is working this valve here should be off and then this one and another one will be on so we could shut this one off we would just have to double check and make sure it does kill the water in the house where we need it to if that's not an option or you don't have a water softener and your water meter is in the house some houses have these forward stops now right now I've got it in the off position you can see these two lockout holes are lined up with each other that's how you know it's off if you're not sure which one to turn off um, it don't really matter you should be able to shut either one and it work if you only have one and um, or maybe they're not working or you need to take this meter off and, and replace this yoke rubber uh, to find out which one is the one from the street it's normally always the one coming out of the concrete worst case scenario your water meter is going to have an in and an out or an arrow on this one it has over there it says in and on this side it has an arrow telling you the, the direction of the feed it's kind of hard to see but it's right there so either way those forward stops are fairly sometimes they're stiff to turn but just grab them with adjustable pliers or a pair of channel locks or something and again I'm I'm turning it on I already had it off you can see the triangle moving now because water's shooting into the system I've got a spigot on outside 